so I decided to break up these haul videos into two separate parts because I didn't think they would be so long. I ended up talking for over an hour and I feel like that's way too long. <laughs> um, so part one is my ColourPop haul and then part two is going to be Sephora and one extra thing at the end. So let's get into what I got from Sephora. Okay, and then I got stuff from Sephora, so I got quite a few things. I don't know why they put it in this basic black bag, but they didn't really have any black and white bags. Maybe they're trying to um, change it to just like recyclable paper bags, but usually all paper bags are recyclable. So anyway, I think that that's pretty nice that they did that. So Let's just talk about some of the skincare that I picked up first because I did pick up quite a bit of skincare and I got some stuff from the Anki list again. So first off, I just picked up a backup of my Anki list, the Brightening Eye Eye Cream and this is the Instant Illumination and Long Term Brightening Eye Cream. Um, so this is a really nice, cheap, affordable eye cream and the reason why I keep on going back to the Inky List is that they're probably my favorite skincare line um, that's affordable and I pretty much have switched over to almost everything from the Inky List except for my um, daytime moisturizer and my face cleanser but almost everything that I use day and night now is from the Inky List and this is a really great eye cream I apply it day and night to my under eyes and it's a really nice affordable one so I got that and then I also am trying to find a cheaper alternative for my vitamin c serum because let's get real paying um $50 a pop every time I need to replace my Ole Hendrickson vitamin c serum is getting pretty pricey so I decided to give this vitamin C serum a go and this is the Inky List 15% vitamin C and EGF vitamin C serum. I'm pretty sure that um, Mary uses this serum and she said it's really nice. So this is formulated for all, best for everyone including blemish prone skin, silicone free and low irritation. So I'm using up another one that I had purchased which is the... Um, fourth ray beauty one from ColourPop, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase that one because it kind of has other things in there that are like a fragranced product that aren't really pure vitamin C. It's a nice product, but I just want to be using as much pure skincare as possible on my skin and not anything that is scented. So this is what the packaging looks like for the 15% vitamin C serum. So I'm going to start using this once I use up my 4th Ray Beauty one. I'm almost done with it. Probably going to last another like couple of weeks, like two weeks or so. And then I'll start using this and get back to you about it. Um, but I think it's going to be really nice. And I hope that this is my affordable uh, vitamin C serum now. Because again, it, pretty, it gets pretty expensive repurchasing the Ole Hendrickson one. The cleanser is like $28.00. Which, so that's not as bad to replace, but the, and that's my all-time favorite face cleanser, but um, as far as the vitamin C serum goes, it's just getting too pricey. And then the last thing that I got is I wanted to try a new nighttime moisturizer. I want to put this on the floor just because I feel like it's taking up too much room. Um, and I originally wanted to get the Laneige um, water cream. But I was reading reviews on it and I because I used up a sample of it um, that I got from my birthday point perk set from Sephora and I really, really liked it. But first off, it's $20 more than this moisturizer that I got. I think this was only like not even $15. And this is even cheaper than my CeraVe night cream that I used to use. I think that's almost $20. I think this is like $13 or $14. This is actually the cheapest out of all of them. Um, and also I think this comes with like double the product. But also I was reading reviews about the water cream and people said it's a great product but it's too scented. And again, I really just want to use as many unscented things on my skin as possible because it breaks you out and it's really not that good in your skincare. So I got the Inky List Peptide Moisturizer. 
And this is best for dry skin. Helps to reduce wrinkles. And it says results in 28 days. I have been seeing results in not even a week. This moisturizer is beautiful and again this was a recommendation from mary this is the, like her moisturizer that she repurchases constantly um and i finally tried it like last week when i had used up the water cream i feel like my skin like it's not just the foundation i think my skin looks so nice because of this moisturizer like it brightens up my skin so much and this is so creamy and hydrating. I freaking love it. And it doesn't, it's uh, completely unscented as well. But I feel like you get a ton of products in here. But this is so nice, moisturizing and creamy. I freaking love this. I think this is going to be my uh, moisturizer of choice and my most repurchased moisturizer because I freaking love it. It's so good. So I think this is supposed to open up like this and then you're supposed to pump it out here. There's like a plug in here too. So I got to figure that, that stuff out because I've just been unscrewing the whole cap, but I have to take the just the top off so yeah I freaking love this and it's so 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 good so I love it and I love this even more than the night cream that I used to get from CeraVe so this stuff is awesome thank you Mary but I started using it a couple weeks ago and I think I'm seeing such amazing results from this it's making my skin so bright and smooth and I've never found a moisturizer that made my skin look better than this one I really think that it's this so it is so nice and I've been loving it so definitely love that I can't rave about it enough and again it's like $15 so no brainer so let's get into some of the makeup now so some things I purchased with $40 worth of credit card rewards I actually only got two things with that. So let's share that with you guys first because I purchased these two things first. And I have three foundations in this. But one, I per again, I purchased with my $40 rewards along with the other product that I'm going to show you guys. The next one I purchased with a gift card and another $10 reward. So that was another $40 off. And then the third one or a third foundation and purchase... All of the products were on sale for half price and I got another $10 reward for the reward. So I saved almost $100 buying all this stuff. So that was a thought that was a pretty good buy. So it's like basically getting like two free products. So let's start out with the eyeshadow palette that I decided to purchase. So I have been so back and forth about this thing eyeshadow palette and I've been back and forth about it sorry for like a good year so I finally just decided to pick it up and I decided to get the Dior Backstage Eye Palette and this is the Professional Performance Multi-Finish High Pigment 003 Warm Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. Now you guys of course knew I had to pick up the Warm Neutrals Palette so this is what it looks like on the back and I love the Dior packaging. It's just so pretty. Um, and then this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I've been hearing such good things about these palettes. So I really was, have been super intrigued on trying these for so long. Initially, I was going to pick this up during the Sephora VIB sale last spring, but I got the Melt Mary Jane palette during that spring sale and then I was gonna get it during the November VIB sale but then I decided to get the Natasha Denona retro palette and I love both of those palettes as well but I finally just decided to get this because since I had the $40 rewards this palette was basically free and the only thing I paid for was the foundation so I thought that was a pretty good buy I was like let's just try the eyeshadow palette if I have $40 worth of rewards because this is about 40 to 50 dollars I think um, so you get three mattes, one cream base shade. No, you get four mattes, excuse me. Four mattes, 
three shimmers, one matte with shimmer, and then a cream uh, base shade. You guys, this palette is so good. It's so beautiful on the eyes. It's so silky smooth. They blend so nicely, but they have such a nice light finish to them, but it's not like there's no pigment. They just look so delicate and beautiful on the eyes and so soft, and they just make your eyes look so dang pretty. So I really, really like it. Um, and they don't really have, there's not really like colors to these. So we have primer which is this is what you're supposed to use before you put it on but I've just been using this as a brow bone highlight and it actually works really beautifully as a brow bone highlight and the cream is so soft and it doesn't feel like sticky or it doesn't feel like it's drying it's just so nice on the brow bone um and then we have bronze which is the highlighter ombre which is this beautiful matte I'm not going to read all the shades. We have red, brick, and then we have smoky brown. And then we have orange, red, copper, and sienna. Let's just read them. But they're so, so silky smooth. Oh my god. If you wanted to try a high-end eyeshadow palette or a luxury palette, luxury palettes honestly aren't really all they're hyped up to be. I mean, I love Pat McGrath and I love... um. Uh, Natasha Denona and you probably get more product in those but honestly this is going to be the best buy that you get if you want to try something that's luxury because you're getting nine shades you're going to use every single day and these are so 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 good and they're $40 which is not a bad deal I mean yes they are smaller eyeshadows but let's get real how how often are you going to go through eyeshadow I think that this is a great everyday eyeshadow palette and I think it'll look beautiful on any type of eye on any age on any skin tone it just has a beautiful finish to them so I really really love this it just looks so delicate and beautiful on the eyes and they feel so silky smooth when I'm swatching them oh they're so pretty they're not really gonna swatch like the greatest um, but when I put them on my eyes, especially like this shimmery gold, it is so beautiful. So those are some of the shades for you guys. Look how pretty those are, right? So I swatched this gold, this bronze shade, and then this red. And they're just so, so smooth. Again, the swatches aren't really going to do it justice, but once you put it on your eyes, it is Stunning. Stunning. As I'm dropping my tissue. And I'm just going to swatch a couple more for you guys. I'm fighting with my bag right now. But the mattes are so silky. They almost feel like a cream to powder. But they don't feel like a cream. Like they don't have like a cream finish to them. They're just gorgeous. So that's that deep dark brown. And that's like that warmer toned brown. Oh my god. Beautiful formula. I am so impressed with this palette and I'm so happy that I tried it and I love it. I'm just so impressed with the formula and I'm so glad I tried it. So this is becoming one of my staple um, neutral palettes. It's just so dang pretty. So I absolutely love that as well. And then the other thing that I got when I bought that was I decided to get a foundation because... I'm kind of getting bored with the foundations in my collection. Not to say I don't love the foundations in my collection, but I think I might declutter a couple of foundations that I'm just not really using anymore again. So I decided to pick up this foundation, and I've been wanting to try this foundation for a really long time. So I was like, you know what? Let me just finally get it. Oh my god. I really don't need this tissue anymore. So I decided to pick up the YSL... I'm going to put this on the floor. It's driving me freaking crazy. <laughs> the U St. Laurent All Hours Foundation. And this is the up to 24 hour wear flawless matte full coverage in the shade B10 Porcelain. So this is the All Hours Foundation from YSL. I haven't picked up anything from YSL in quite a long time. Not at least 
for a year or two. For some reason, I'm always more attracted to picking up Dior products because Dior is my favorite high-end brand. So this is the YSL All Hours Foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like, and it has the YSL on the cap. Honestly, the YSL is supposed to be here. But this is what it looks like, and again, it's the shade B10 Porcelain. I have a full video up with this foundation and the Dior Warm Neutrals palette where I'm using the Warm Neutrals palette for the first time and I use this foundation on camera if you guys want to see what it looks like on my skin, but it is beautiful. I love this foundation. I wore it a good week when I first got it. I wore it every single day to work and it just looks stunning on the skin. It has a beautiful demi matte finish. It really is not a super matte foundation. And I'm telling you guys, with somebody with dry skin, if you're looking for something that's more of like a matte finish, this is your guy. It is so gorgeous. It is fragranced. A lot of luxury brand foundations are fragranced, but it's beautiful. It has a really nice liquidy consistency, but not too liquidy where it's like runny and it looks gorgeous. And the um, scent kind of absorbs after you blend it out. Like it is kind of strong when you put it on. Not too bad, but it's stunning on the skin. I absolutely love this. This might be my favorite foundation out of the three that I purchased. So beautiful. So those are the first two things that I got. Now let's talk about a couple of things that I got that I purchased from online that I ordered um, with the gift card that my brother got me for Christmas. And then I also had, I think, $10 worth of rewards. Um, so I did also get another foundation because this wasn't available in store, but I also really wanted to try this foundation as well. And the foundation I decided to pick up is the Dior Forever Skin Glow 24 hour wear radiant foundation. So I decided to pick up this guy. So I picked up this foundation and this one is uh, in the shade 00 neutral slash glow. 00 neutral. I don't know why they say that. So this is the glow finish of the foundation. So there is a glow um, finish and a matte finish. Um, so you guys know, of course, I'm going to pick up the, the glow finish. So this is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation from Dior, and it says everything about it on the back. And this was actually reformulated, I think, for a third time. The first time that they came out with this was called the Dior Skin Star Forever Foundation, and that was one of my all-time favorite foundations ever. I went through the entire bottle. But then after I wanted to repurchase it, they discontinued it. Or I think it was just at Nordstrom or something, but I only buy at Sephora. So um, when I want to buy Dior, because I always get the rewards or I get a discount. So then they came out with this, I think, last year. But then they actually reformulated it again recently, and they just came out with it last week. And this is the new reformulated one, because they reformulated it to be clean. So when I went and wanted to get this in store... The lady that was helping me said it's been really hard to get Dior products. Um, but then I actually saw that like every shade was sold out online. So I was like, oh, maybe they'll have it in store. But then I saw like a couple days later on Morgan Turner's channel that she reviewed this and said it's been reformulated. And that's why all the shades were sold out on Sephora at the time. Not just because it's been hard to get Dior products. So just letting you guys know. This is beautiful. I'm wearing it on my skin today. It has a beautiful glow to the skin, and I really, really love it. It looks amazing on my skin. I absolutely love Dior foundations. I've probably tried at least four different Dior foundations, and I've loved every single one. So I freaking love this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the other products that I got, so I finally decided to get this dang mascara. I've been wanting this mascara for so long and I finally decided to get it. So I decided to get the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara and I've been wanting to try this for so long. I'm wearing this on my eyes today, on my lashes. 
Um, so I finally decided to try it because I actually got rid of a couple of mascaras recently. And again, this has been on my wish list for a long time. And this is one of the only things that I didn't try from Pat McGrath that I've been wanting to try for a long time. And it's a really, really nice mascara. At first, I didn't love it. And now as I've been using it and I'm using it today, it's really nice, builds up my lashes really well and gives my lashes like a ton of volume. So I really, really like this one. Okay, you guys, so let's get into the last couple of products I got from Sephora. I actually went and watched Ozark for uh, a couple of hours. Now I'm back to finish the rest of the haul. So, because my mom was getting impatient and wanted me to watch the show. So let me show you guys the other things that I picked up. So I saw that these things had went on sale recently at Sephora. So I wanted to pick them up. Um, and I saw that some of um, Urban Decay's Stay, Stay Naked line was half price. So I decided to pick up the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. And I picked up that. I got the um, Stay Naked Correcting Concealer and also the Stay Naked The Fix um, Powder. So I actually have tried the concealer, so I'm just going to go through that really quickly. I really, really like this concealer and um, I actually have always been thinking about repurchasing it and since it was on sale for half price I decided to pick up another one and this one's in the shade 10 and N So I just went and picked that guy up and then I also picked up the foundation now when this foundation came out I was kind of super hesitant to get it because it actually came out with um, a bunch of other foundations when like foundations were like really trendy at that time I think in like 2019 before COVID, before people were actually wearing foundation. Um, but I was always hesitant to pick it up because most people said it was a super matte foundation. This foundation is literally weightless. It says it's a weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hours of wear. I'm never going to wear it for 24 hours. And I got it in the same shade, which is 10NN Ultra Fair. So now this is the foundation. Now, I actually have never tried any um, Urban Decay foundations. I've just tried their tinted moisturizers because they don't really have that many options for foundation. This has really been their only one for a long time. So, I hope they relaunch and come out with like a new foundation, maybe some blushes. Like, come on, Urban Decay. Like, you're Urban Decay. You need to do something. So, First off, the packaging is very plasticky, so honestly, I would have not paid $45 for this foundation. It was on sale for $19.50, so I thought that was a pretty good price for it. Um, but this is beautiful on the skin. I have a full first impressions on it, so you guys will see my thoughts on it. But I really like it so far, and I've worn it twice, and it is beautiful on the skin. So you guys will see my full thoughts in that video. So I don't want to go into it too long, but I did pick up that. And then the last thing that I got was the powder, sorry, which this also for full price is $40. And I got this, I think for like 17 or $18. So I thought that was a pretty good price too. I was like $40 is a little bit pricey for a pressed powder. Um, so unless it's Dior, but also I was comparing the amount of products that you get and you get way more product in this. I thought just because the packaging was bigger, sometimes they deceive you by just making it bigger and thinking you're getting more product, but you actually get twice the amount of products in here than you do in this. So this is actually a more expensive powder. Um, so I will pay $40 for something that I get double the product in, but this is actually very expensive for the amount of product that you get. So $20 is actually what it's actually worth. Because you only get 6 grams of product in here. In the Dior, you get 12 grams of product. So you're literally getting double the product. Um, so this is actually beautiful on the skin as well. Super silky and weightless. And I really, really like it. And again, I've tried this twice with the foundation. So I picked up all of those because I was like, dang, those are some good deals. So, um, so I got all three of those. And then the last two things that I got... The last thing I got from Urban Decay is a backup of my Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. You guys know how much I love this mascara. It's amazing. So I went ahead and picked up another backup of this guy. It's 
basically my favorite mascara of all time. Um, it just gives your lashes like the most incredible amount of length and volume and I just love it. I've worn it a few times already. It's amazing. So I just picked that up. And then like I said, I also picked up a backup of my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. This is my the Set and Refresh Setting Spray. This is my Holy Grail Setting Spray. It is so incredibly hydrating. And the mist on here is just amazing. They were out of stock of this, not just in my Sephora, but on Sephora's website. And they restocked it in my store a couple, like last week, and they also restocked it on the website finally again. Um, I guess this became super popular during the holidays. I'm like, yeah, this is amazing. So I'm glad it finally gained some movement and more popularity because this setting spray is absolutely amazing. So I went ahead and picked up a backup of that. So that is everything that I got from Sephora. More so than I thought I was going to get from Sephora, but I think I got some pretty good products. But I did get quite a bit of foundations, which I didn't think I was going to get so many. So... But when I saw those deals, that deal for um for the Urban Decay one, I couldn't pass it up because I never had tried that one. And I've always been intrigued to try that one. So, And then the last thing that I got, and then we can finally end this like a million year long haul, is um, I finally purchased something from Adept Cosmetics. So this palette wasn't supposed to come until the like middle of January and there was a pre-order for it um the day before Christmas Eve which was like the 20 well it was the 23rd obviously um and they said that the palettes wouldn't ship out until mid-January and I didn't get it the first time it came out because I was getting like already so many other palettes from other brands sorry for the dust flying around because I just put all the stuff back in the bag so it's like flying up from the bag um I didn't get it the first time around because I was getting too many palettes but I decided to pick it up this time around it came in less than two weeks like it was some faster shipping than ColourPop because ColourPop sometimes can take up to two weeks to get to me not saying that there's not del I understand the delays and everything but it's just shocking to me that something from overseas can get here faster than something that's in the U.S. It's kind of nuts like that when you track it, it's like oh it's in my state already like that's crazy fast shipping so I'm just saying like if the international brands can ship to us in less time than the U.S. brands it's like it's really the USPS that has you know obviously they've been having like a USPS crisis in this country so we're not getting into that. So anyway, I decided to get the Amunet New Eyeshadow Palette. And so many people have been talking to me about Adept Cosmetics, like Debbie and Mary. Mary actually hasn't tried them yet. So I'm surprised that she hasn't picked up any palettes from them. So anyway, this is the first palette that I really wanted to get from them. Because usually they do either all shimmer palettes or like a palette that only has like two mattes in it. I mean, yes, I probably could have curated my own palette, but Adept is not a cheap brand. This was like almost a $60 palette, but I used, I think, a 20% off code. I think I used Tara Babe's code or Karen Harris's code, um, but that got me a good percent off of it so like $55 is what I'll typically pay for a more expensive palette so I don't think that that was too bad um so this is what the palette looks like first off it's beautiful you get an equal amount of mattes and shimmers in here you get six mattes and then multiple different finishes of shimmers you have some duochromes you have some sparkly super sparkly shades and then you have these beautiful like crushed like super sparkly shades and it is a stunning palette so let me just go through the shades really quick so we have or osiris osiris horus seth fatah re and hathor sorry if i butcher the names they're all egyptian names then we have anubis thoth bastet aman neph neph nephesis i guess and emotep some of them I know how to say because um, 
Horus, Anubis, and Emotep were all in The Mummy. If you guys remember The Mummy, great, great series of movies with Brendan Fraser. Seen those so many times. So it's a really pretty like purpley, warm tone, shimmery green palette. And I love the color story. It's so interesting. These are beautiful. So I'm just going to swatch some of them for you guys. Their shimmers are some of the softest shimmers I've ever touched in my life. And they are beautiful. So let's swatch some of these for you guys. And most of them are way more multi-dimensional when you swatch them. Some of them are duochrome. Some of them have super sparkles in them with duochrome in them. So we have, oh my god, o Osiris, Re, and Nephetis. Sorry if I can't say that one, but look how beautiful those are. Um, Re, like, reflects, like, green and pink and gold. And then this um, Nephetis shade, or that's Anubis. That's Anubis, sorry. That one, like, reflects purple and pink, and it's just so gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. And then I'll swatch a couple of the mattes, and then we are done because this haul has been way too long. I am so sorry, but there was a lot of stuff for me to talk about, and honestly, I'm doing more of, like, monthly collective hauls than like buying too much makeup now so this is like a month's worth of makeup so actually almost two months because I bought some of this stuff at the end of December and some of it in January so so there's some of the mattes for you guys the mattes are very soft as well but I um the mattes are a little bit hard to blend um because there's not really a dark enough shade in here besides email tap to deepen up the looks but the mattes are definitely darker than they look in the pan so this one is fata and this one is amon they're beautiful nice and soft but the problem is that the shimmers i mean not that they're not stunning is that the shimmers are so wet that sometimes they can transfer very very easily so i think i have to try and find like some type of other glitter glue or something to keep them from transferring so much but for me i also put my shimmer shade like kind of on this part of my lid I don't like taking it too high I just don't love how it looks on me um I know my actual lid is probably up here I take it to about here but I don't take it all the way up here I just think it looks weird on me I've always done my eyeshadow like that I don't know maybe I need to start taking it up more so they don't transfer as much so I don't know I just don't have the time in the morning I'm just like nate nate me and then I'm done so yeah beautiful palette can't wait to play with it some more I pretty much have tried all the shades in all of these palettes except for the one shade that I showed you guys in the plush like me and the only shade I haven't used on the lid in this shade in this shade in this palette is Hathor I've used all the other lid shades so I've actually tested out all these palettes pretty thoroughly for you guys and I think out of all the ones that I talked about, I think the Or Kid You Not is my favorite and the Limoncello. Those are both really nice. They're just easy palettes to work with. And I kind of don't have to put in as much work. This one, I kind of have to put a little bit of work into it to um, blend them a little bit more. But it's still beautiful. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at cbw819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. And let me know what you guys think of any of these products. Have you tried any of them? Let me know. Bye. Okay, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up from Sephora. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. And yeah, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819. And check out my Poshmark at the same handle. I love you guys. Bye.